Hey everybody, Standing Ovation here again with another break. And this one's been uh, cooking for a while. I've been stewing on a couple of these boxes for a few months now. And then over the Christmas holidays, I picked up a couple more. And I got uh, the, what do you call it, the, the Quattro. All four years of stature. And I thought it'd be fun to rip one open. And I thought about doing this in a number of different ways. And this is perhaps the most expensive way to do it, ripping them all in one video. But it's the way I want to do it. This is the way I've, I, I've opened up. Uh, just two years of stature in my whole entire life. The first two years it came out, I, 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 you know, I was busy working at other things, and I don't know, I just didn't enjoy the product as much as I do now. I didn't look at it too closely, to be honest. Because I've always kind of just gone after Upper Deck's flagship, and maybe some SP Authentic and Cup cards, but stature grew on me. I picked up a few singles over the years, and over the years, like over the past couple of years, let's say. Um, you know, a nice SP to autograph. I've hit a couple of good ones now, and I want to finish in the other two years. 2021 and 1920 the first year they did it and for the price that I paid basically this these three all cost me about the same and then this one cost I think this was like 300 bucks on sale at Christmas so there's about about a thousand dollars worth of product here so it really does help me if you could tap that like button subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more breaks uh, I love ripping my hockey and these these ones are yeah this is I won't be doing this on a on a weekly basis but um, I thought you know another box of the cup or this it's almost the same price and this is the way to do it in, in, in my opinion but I don't know maybe I would have done better out of the cup because I'm kind of 50-50 on the cup for my breaks there and uh, so yeah let's see what happens I'm not going to start with uh, I'm going to go to the least desirable of them all I don't know I want to don't want to say that the most, but the 22-23 cropper rookies and actually this product even the box is bigger they try to make it look better by making the box bigger but out of all four years this is the one that's probably going to give you the least bang for your buck but who knows maybe it'll give me the best one because let's just pull all the packs out because i'm committed now i'm in i'm gonna start with i'm gonna do it in order most recent to oldest this should be fun I don't know, maybe I should have waited and done it with 23, 24 comes out, but that probably won't be for a long time. But who knows where I'll be when 23, 24 stature comes out. Hopefully I'll still be here making videos. Here we go. Starting off. I can see some red down there. Anyway, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Base, Taylor Hall. Bruins base, Taylor Hall. Now he's with uh, the Hawks, but he's not playing and that's too bad. Svesh, having another solid year. In the back, we got the Splendid Skaters. Moritz Cedar. Cider. Cedar. Cider. Moritz Cider. Mo. Mo Cider, please. Couple of cool hits there. Sveshnikov hiding my first numbered hit of Riley Walsh, a rookie. Base rookie out of 399. Don't know a whole lot about Riley Walsh. He's still with them. A brutally cut thing here with my Brendan Gallagher. But uh, I guess that happens. I've seen that kind of damage on Upper Deck before. That sucks. 58 to 99. I'll have to mail that back to Upper Deck or some sort of replacement there for a 99. If I, it's probably the photo variant. Yeah. Okay. Niels Oman. A design and photo variant or maybe design variant. I don't know which is which. Let me just move these cards. Still nothing worth a stand yet. I'm just going to carry on. Nils Oman, good rookie for the Canucks. One of the guys playing with them this year. And now our first red parallel. Ronnie Attard, rookie out of 33. Number nine. Uh, again, I forget the breakdown. A photo design variant. Parallel. Red parallel. Hold on. There, you could freeze the camera and... Figure it all out from there. Freeze the camera. Freeze the picture. I didn't go to the website and present with all the pertinent information the way a professional YouTube breaker would do it. First autograph, a red autograph. Rookie. Who's that? Mark Kostelik? It is Mark Kostelik, number 21 of 35. Okay, well, that's, you know. Mark Kostelik. I've done a lot better out of this year's stature hitting Kostelik. You have to watch my other videos, but I've definitely hit a more rare 
Caselic than that one out of this year's stature. Who knows? He's kind of a gritty guy. A couple of good rookies there. With Oman and Ronnie Attard, maybe. Riley Walsh. But the damaged Gallagher, I'll put that aside. And uh, actually, let me just deal with that. Put the box here. So I'll need that code. I think I got the 21-22 at a card show. The 22-23 I got through the LCS, and the other two I got through the interwebs. Okay, 21-22, it's a purple box here. This was my uh, first rip into stature. When I, when I first opened it, it was 21-22, so I guess not even a year ago. I did fairly well out of the boxes I opened. I didn't do any case ripping or anything like that. I think it was about a total of eight packs. That, that ripped and yeah, some really nice kits. I got this patch. Anyway, let's see what I can get out of 2122. No patches in this so far. Got a Bernie Nichols, the LA Kings, and a Hurdle base card. See the damage again on that one, too. A little bit at the top. First rookie, Sean Dersey. He's playing well, the defenseman for the Coyotes now. At the back, we got this. Legendary Heights, Marty St. Louis. Where's a suit now? Okay. Dakota Joshua. Okay, the first time I hit this guy, I didn't know what, what where his career was, but now he's a solid part of the Canucks. Playing well this year. Number 91 of 40, 149. 91 of 149. Next up, Hendrix Lapierre. Again, hopeful to see a good career out of this guy. He's seen a lot of ice time with the Caps this year, but 43-75. Yeah, the caps this year, bit of a bit of a yeah. Let's see what OV, OV if he ever picks it up or is he is he done? I think he might be done. Okay, before I get to the auto, I got Jeremy Swayman, blue rookie. Sweet. That's number 35. I mean, I know stature is bad for quality and issues. All upper deck is these days, but that's not miserable. But I don't think I'd ever be grading stature cards to begin with. Number 25 of 35, a blue rookie. Jeremy Swayman. That's worthy of a stand, but here's the autograph in the box. It's green. It's not a rookie. It's green Dallas. Riley Tufty. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to dump on Riley Tufty. It is a rookie. I'm thinking the rookie would have been written there, but that's 21, 22, 23. I, I missed it. Well, okay. I got a color match rookie, Riley Tufty. Tufty numbered, what is that? Five of 50. Pretty well. I got a good pack there, I'd say, with the Swayman Blue Rookie. Okay, let's get into 2021. This is the first time I've ever opened one of these. I, again, I think I'm going back to the, I probably, probably did a group break in it once or twice. I know I have some singles for 2021 available in my store. Not a lot. I don't think I have any 2019 statures. Here we go. Let's look at the box before I get too far ahead. Let's get something big out of 2021. I haven't looked at the checklist even online to know who's in it. Kaprizov, Stutzel, J-Rob. I'm, I'm assuming they're all in here. Lafreniere. I like that design though. There we go. Stammer and Sedin starting us off. It's cool, a couple of Hall of Future Hall of Famers. Well, one's in and one's one day will be. I don't know if the back is the auto on this or is it an insert like these, but I'm gonna find out because I got Vitek Vanacek, Protoge. That's a better looking insert than some of the other ones I've seen. Yeah, I like that one. Vanacek, Protoges. Sedin hiding a Latunov rookie, number 399. Maxim Latunov, where he is now, don't know. San Jose centerman, base rookie. And next is a green rookie of Kevin Ball. 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 Green rookie at a 175, number 17. And again, another, where are you now, don't know. Kevin Ball. Lucas Carlson, photo variation or portrait type of variation, rookie card. Again, another name that isn't a current NHLer. 
Not terribly excited about hitting a Lucas Carlson. No, no big name. Like, like the 2122 was way better rookies. So anyway, let's see what we can hit out of these last two. Delandria. There's probably the best rookie hit so far. He's having a better seat, better career than the other guys. And the last hit in 2021. Who is that? Oh, J. Rob. Hiya, buddy. 159 of 199. Hard sign, Jason Robertson. Sweet card there. Right on. Again, can I be critical of it? There's a, I don't think it's a scratch. It's just kind of a print line down the middle of the card. A little bit of surface speckling, but pretty decent card. Pretty decent. Above average. Awesome. Sweet. Cool. It's funny because I just sold my Nick Robertson autograph stuff, so... I no longer have the full brother collection. Actually, I never... I, this is the first J-Rob card I've had autographed. I had a future watch that I had for about two weeks. Somebody picked up off my items out of eBay, but that was a while ago. Okay. Let's get that card up there. Best hit so far. I don't know, again, values. If I'm getting better at my editing. I'm not quite there yet. I put the ching and the price up there of some of these cards. 2019, 2020. The very first year of artifacts. Artifacts? What am I saying? First year of stature. I think the first year out of artifacts is 05, 06? I don't know. Maybe I, I have to think about that. 03, 04 maybe. My memory fails me. I was working in the automotive parts industry back then because I remember ripping open hockey cards on the desk of a shipping office a long time ago. Okay, 2019-20. Hit a nice Hughes, Jack Hughes, Quinn Hughes, Kale McCarr. I, I assume all those guys are in here, although I think Quinn's got to have redemption stuff. I, I'm, I'm afraid I might see that because I know I, I'm waiting on a redemption card of Quinn Hughes from can, uh, Clear Cut. I think it's 2021 Clear Cut. Well, that's a good start. Look at the base cards in this first year. Are they all like that? White background? I really like that card. Jean Beliveau. Le Gros Bill. Okay, next. I don't want I just want to keep looking at it. I'm a, I'm a Leafs fan too, and I'm like ooh and awing over a Jean Beliveau. He led the league in assists. Finished with it. That's an awesome hockey player. Or rest in peace. I met him once. I met all three of them sitting at a Rolex table. Got Lefleur, Beliveau, and Richard to sign a hockey card and I unfortunately sold that card when I was hurting for money years ago. It was the 77, 78 Opeachy Montreal Canadiens team logo. So whoever owns it out there, it graded in a BGS 9. Now that card's in somebody's collection and I know I sold it for way too little. Anyway, that's what you do when you're hurting for money and you're hungry. Seth Jones. Back with the Blue Jackets. I'm stuck cards, not stuck, but I'm struggling. I don't want to hurt them. We got Barrett Hayton. The back card, Joe Farabee. Well, there's a better 1920 rookie reliance. Philly. Okay, I don't recognize the design of these cards to see what the back one is, but I kind of peeked at it. Colin Blackwell. Colin Blackwell, look, Fred's rookie. Okay, I'm not sure I got these. I didn't pile up my last pile. Before I started breaking out this one. Okay, that's better. Barry, the Belleville card, that was a bad idea to begin with. It should be up on a stand. Should have done this right off the bat. One of the greatest hockey players, definitely, of his era. It's hard to compare old era to new era. He was super talented. Okay, here we go. Back to the last few cards here. Four cards to go. Thanks for watching. Colin Blackwell. Oh, nice. Oliver Wallstrom, green rookie reliance parallel at a 99. Yeah, I'd rather not have parallels of inserts, but that's just fine all on its own. You don't need to parallel that one. A one of one, maybe, but anyway, that's that's just me. Red, red stature means Jake Gensel, 26 of 75. I've already hit a jersey numbered car to him once. I keep thinking that the Pens are going to make a push to get into the playoffs, and watch out if they do. Crosby's last hurrah. We got behind him cool Carson Kuhlman out of 35. Well, that's not the rookie you'd hope to get, but ends the chances. 
And I got one card go behind here. I'm not sure why. But uh, 81 of... What is that? 85? What a weird number. Or is that... Yeah, 81 of 85. I couldn't get 83? No, that would have been too much. Okay, Carson Kuhlman. What do you got behind you? A couple, couple. Number two. 85. It's kind of a cool looking card. Portraits type of parallel. Rookie card. I don't know if the Rangers are ever going to get use out of him, or is he going to go on to somewhere else? Like, I know he's still there, but for the number two overall pick, he didn't turn out to being that much of a force. Who knows? Same with Lafreniere. The drafting of the Rangers, the guys they pick, I don't know. It's just coincidence. That's a cool card, nonetheless. But definitely that 2021 box was the one that stands out as the best. Swayman, nice card there too, but not autographed. Carson Kuhlman. Of course, Carson Kuhlman now. Four years of stature all in one video. Please tap the like button. It really does help keep this channel going. I like the, uh, the reactions that I get in comments too. So throw a comment down below. Check out my items on eBay now or another day whenever you're on the online. I'll be back in the near future with another one. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Keep on collecting.